striking thing for me is the relationship between the building, the structure, and the, and the woods. The way that the size of the columns and the way that the color fits beautifully with, with the trees around it. I just think that connection is really strong and, and remarkable. It's a beautiful intersection of engineering uh, and, and art. It's absolutely what it needs for the structure to, to hold it up, no more, no less. But it is also very conscious about having a relationship with these other patterns and textures that are surrounding us here in nature. It's the kind of structure that would slow people down rather than just hurrying through things like we also often do in a museum. It's kind of wash from one painting to the next. In this case, I'd like to think they could feel embraced by the building, uh, embraced by nature, and, and have a willingness to occupy the in-between. The interior space is conceived to be like a piece of the museum, something highly refined, broken off the museum, and placing itself in the woods, surrounded by this kind of rough, tough structure. I would be interested to see what that's going to induce on how people behave. You know, do they treat it like a living room, a lounge, or is it, is it, is it something that uh, maybe they don't want to hang out in at all? Maybe they just want to hang out on the edges. I don't know. It remains to be seen. I think there'll be a lot of hanging out on the edges. Yeah. I think it's, uh, <laughs> Who wants to be inside, right? <laughs> well, it's just such a nice spot from which to look around. Yeah.